Hello! I've never done a video like this, so please bear with me. <laughs> I figured that since 2022 is coming to an end, it would be fun to do a yearly wrap-up sort of thing, where I rate all the games that I have played on stream throughout the year. I'll give my rating, a little short review, and try not to give too many spoilers. Or any at all. I'll try my best. <laughs> I'm not gonna be rating the games that I've played on my own, only the ones that I've played on stream. Also bear in mind that some of these games did not come out in 2022, but I played them for the first time in 2022. I will also be talking about some of the games that I'm looking forward to playing in 2023, so stay tuned for that at the end of the video. We played seven games together, so let's get started. The first game is Stray. I give this game a 4.9 out of 5. In this game, you play as a cat in a post-apocalyptic world. This game is so good. I would describe it as I came looking for coal and I found gold. <laughs> I got into this game because of the being a cat element. <laughs> Little did I know that I would find much more than that. This game is so beautiful, the story is beautiful, the environment and the characters are just so unique. It's all about solving puzzles, making friends, exploring the city. It's just... I cried at the end. If you know, you know. <laughs> I only give it a 4.9 because, and this is not a spoiler, I don't think, I wish I could have played more with the cat family. Either way, I highly recommend it. Such a good game. Such a good game. Next up, we have Hoa. I give this game a 3 out of 5. This is a platformer game where you play as a little fairy person that is uncovering their own story while also getting to know the creatures of the forest. From what I've seen online, this is a very popular game in the cozy game community and for good reason. This game is really beautiful. If you're a big fan of Ghibli films, you will love this game. The environments are beautiful, the music is beautiful. This is definitely a game to relax to. I personally found it very slow paced and repetitive. And I wish I had a little bit more of incentives throughout the game. But generally, a really good game. Chill game. Next, we have Cult of the Lamb. This is a roguelike game where you play as a lamb that is making a cult. I don't know either. I give this game a 5 out of 5. All I will say about this game is that it was worth the hype. I feel like there is something for everyone in this game. There's dungeon crawling, fighting, story, customization, you can design your little base, you can design your own religion. There's a lot to do in this game. <laughs> I have many friends with many different tastes and they all like the game for different reasons. It's a perfect mix between cute and spooky and witty and funny. I love it. Next we played Little Nightmares 2 and this might be my favorite game that I have played all year. I give this game again a 5 out of 5. This is a mystery slash horror slash adventure game where you play as a little kid who is uncovering the mysteries of this weird world that you found yourself in that might be a nightmare. I don't know. I'm a big fan of horror, but I am a very, very big scaredy cat when it comes to horror video games. And I loved this game. So don't let the horror part of this deceit you or, or, or put you off in any way. It's such an interesting game. It's beautifully made. It's fun. It's intriguing. It's it's just so good. It's so good. I love how a lot of this game is open to interpretation. I love that there are many theories and lore that you can get into online. You can spend hours and hours just trying to figure out what it all means. Yes, I love this game. Just wow. Next, I played A Short Hike. Okay, so I know I said Little Nightmares 2 was my favorite game this year, but this might actually be my favorite game this year. This is the one that I kept coming back to play, even after I had completed the main quest. This is an open world exploration game where you play as a little bird who needs to get to the summit of the mountain to get cell phone reception. Cell phone reception. Cell phone reception. Words are hard. It sounds pretty simple, but there is so much to this game. There's just something so relaxing and comforting about this game. I don't know what it is. It just gives you a feeling of everything is going to be okay. And the pixel art. I mean, come on. Very much recommend it. 
Next, I played Crazy Taxi. Not the first time I played this game. Five out of five, no questions, no explanations, just great game. Moving on. Last but not least, we started playing Night in the Woods. I still haven't finished this game yet, so I don't feel like it's fair that I give it a rating just yet. But this is a story-based game where you play as a little cat named May who just dropped out of college. You follow her story as she is back to her old hometown, dealing with mental health things and a lot of mystery. There's like a murder or something. Yeah, I can't give it a proper rating yet, but stay tuned for that because it should be coming soon. I am more than halfway through now, so yeah. And those are all the games that I played in 2022 on stream. If you want to watch my playthroughs, I'm going to link them down below. Just don't judge me on some of the first ones because some of them are pretty rough, not going to lie. I'm looking forward to playing more games in 2023. Some games I'm excited to play is Mail Time. This game just looks so cute. You play as a mushroom person, I think, and you have to deliver the mail around the forest. It just, I mean, what's there not to like? It looks so cute. Also, I'm really looking forward to a game called The Store is Closed. It is the complete opposite of Mail Time. <laughs> this is a horror game where you are in this kind of like IKEA kind of store and you're trapped and at night there are creatures that come out and you have to stay safe and survive. Not very cozy, but it looks very fun. Thank you for watching and I wish you all a very happy 2023. Here's to more cozy nights playing video games. I've just been back here at least. All right. Bye. Talking is hard. <laughs>